I wish to I wish to confirm that we are all in and ready to start our program today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. My name is Okari and I'm glad to have you on board. Karibuni sana. Um, I want to also confirm that we are receiving the participants herein and uh, I will be able to acknowledge the full list of attendants. Of course, so far I can see uh, Antonio Guto logged in. Thank you for joining us. Caroline Munene. Cunningham, uh, Daniel Katitu, David Nzioka, DK Rono, uh, Doris Kinoti, Elijah Givinji, Eliud Adiedo, Elizabeth, Fred Ruoro, Galaxy, <laughs> SH, Galaxy Tab, Gidu Angaroya, Ezra Nwambogo, Ivy Mwendoa, Jack Kionga, Jen Odipo, Jen Onimbo, John Wainaina, Lynette Mirehane, uh, Lydia Murerwa, Mary Wanga, Mushe Mindongo, Nathan K, uh, Rose Wanda, Sarah Warutere, uh, Stella Njungi. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. We are glad to have you on board. We will still be acknowledging more as they come in because uh, uh, I will be able to acknowledge you and I also appreciate your feedback as we continue with our meeting. Uh, I also want to appreciate each and every one of us who, be, who has been able to join our webinar today. And uh, I can assure you it is going to be an awesome session. It is going to be excellent for you. So be sure that it is going to be a great moment for you to enjoy. My name is MC Okari and I welcome you on board. Thank you so much for joining us. At this juncture, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to also inform you that we have a feedback form, a feedback form that will be posted on the chat section so that you are able to see the form there on the feedback section. We will be able to have the form and uh, you just click on that link and give us your feedback. We will be glad to hear your feedback. We will be glad to see how you view things. And we will also be glad to see the progress of each and every activity that we're having today. So welcome on board. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, as I said, my name is Okari. I can see Teresa Nyaoro has said hi to all of us. Thank you, Teresa, for joining in and welcome on board. Um, I want to also confirm if uh, Madam Deputy Director is on standby and ready so that we are able to start with a prayer and uh, progress as so. So, uh, Madam Alice, please uh, uh, join in and say hi and also pray with us so that we are able to start. I'm not sure if uh, she can get me, but... Uh, if she's not in, I will still be acknowledging as a, uh, we are, as soon as we are ready, kindly alert me so that we are able to start uh, off. I also want to welcome the panelists, uh, that is the Institute who are the hosts, uh, our director, Agnes Masharia, the deputy director, uh, Alice Njoroge, we have Elector Oketch, we have uh, Christine Ronga, uh, the panelists, we appreciate you for being on board. Uh, all the attendees that have just come in and uh, those who have come in, we welcome you on board. Thank you also for joining this webinar and we can assure you that it is going to be a session that you will not forget. I can see also uh, our guest of honor has also logged in and uh, on standby for us. So as soon as uh, Madam Deputy Director, you're ready, you can lead us in a prayer so that we are able to start our program. Uh, okay. As, as she prepares to join in, uh, the feedback form, the feedback form is, uh, has been put on your chat section. You will need to give us your feedback. Uh, your feedback will be very crucial in designing the programs for this year. So um, the essence of it is to just ensure that the program is tailor-made for you. Uh, because as we learn now, it is no longer easy to just look at things the way they are. You look at things in the essence of how they benefit the people who you target. So at this juncture, uh, you will note that there's a link that has been issued on a feedback form. 
And there are a few questions therein for you to be able to look at and feel so that you are able to continue as so. So um, we have uh, a few questions, there are actually five. Uh, we have uh, which sector do you work in? We have uh, as, as skills, the or skills and expertise will you look for when engaging a new person? We have skill sets and expertise that you look for engaging uh, another person, a new person. There are so many questions that are here, not as many as so, but ar around five of them, and of course your feedback in the end, uh, you think about IIK and the feedback that you want to give IIK uh, in the long run. So at this juncture, I wish to welcome Madam Deputy Director Alice. I can see now you are here. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's such a great morning, and we would want to honor God as we start our day. Uh, we only mentioned the day, but the Lord has made it to happen. So please, can we uh, honor God and uh, say a word of prayer? Almighty Father, we want to thank you this morning. Thank you for such an opportunity that uh, we are able to see this day. We want to glorify your name in knowing that there are many who woke up and they are not there anymore, Heavenly Father. And we want to thank you for this institute and for this industry at large. Lord, as we deliberate on the issues that are affecting the industry, as we deliberate as professionals and as we put our minds together, we pray for discernment, we pray for order, and we pray that Heavenly Father, in everything that we discuss in this forum, may it be for the good of the industry at large, Heavenly Father, so that we can be able to serve the community as we are chosen to serve them and to serve them with a lot of diligence, Heavenly Father. We thank you and we pray that you be with us from the minute we start to the end. In the mighty name of Jesus, do we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Madam Deputy Director. We are so happy to have you on board. Uh, of course, we can't fail to acknowledge your smile. You have one of the best smiles in Eastern Central Africa. Uh, and uh, I hope nobody tells your husband that, <laughs> that the MC said so. Thank you so much, Alice, for that. And uh, thank you so much for also joining us. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to welcome the director for her quick remarks, and then we will be able to get on with the session. I welcome uh, Madam Director Agnes Karibu Sana. Uh, of course, we still acknowledge your big smile and amazing way that you're leading us this far, uh, despite the difficult times, uh, very strong. You are the emb embodiment of the strength of a woman. And so we are happy to have you on board and uh, we welcome you to take uh, MC, you. before Madam Director speaks, uh, we need uh, a few housekeeping order because uh, our uh, guest speaker is held up in two meetings and he will be ready in the next 10 minutes. We have to allow uh, that to happen. But uh, members, uh, we want to welcome all of you to this forum and we want to give you time to remember where the insurance started and particularly the broking uh, element of the insurance industry where it started in the coffee house of Mr. Edward Riot. Riots, and uh, this is our coffee house today. We need to put up, to put our minds together as professionals. We need to have a candid talk. We need to agree on the things that we want the industry to do on our behalf. We need to agree uh, where we lost it as professionals, and we need to go back to where uh, uh, where the pro we lost the professionalism. So as uh, we welcome our director as we welcome our commissioner. I would wish that all the CEOs on board, please ask all those questions that uh, you would have loved to ask your commissioner. Talk to each other as CEOs, talk to each other as professionals, and let's put our minds together through the professional body of IIK uh, to see how we can bring back accountability, how we can bring back integrity. And uh, this is the coffee house. Treat this as a coffee house, not as an official forum. Anything you say, I want to make a disclaimer, will not be taken against you. So be candid in your questions. Uh, the commissioner, I've also asked him to wear the hat of uh, not the regulator per se, but uh, to be able to speak to you in an open forum whereby you can be able to engage. 
So please feel free. That question you have always wronged to ask the commissioner's office. He's ready with his team. They will be able to answer your questions. And let's speak to each other uh, through IIK, our professional body, and let's think how we can make our industry better. And uh, with those few remarks, uh, may I welcome my director who will now guide us and be able to, uh, to welcome the CEO. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Deputy Director. I like the way you have put it, especially when you say that um, we should, um, the delegates should ask those questions that they have always wanted uh, to ask. And I thank you for being able to, to work on that and even to give us, uh, the delegates, that confidence about the heart which uh, our commissioner is wearing today. But uh, allow me, our guest speaker, Mr. Godfrey Kiptum, the Commissioner and CEO of Insurance Regulatory Authority, IRA, our stakeholders, IRA, AIBK, Aki, College of Insurance. I have seen you are all represented, insurance executives drawn from the insurance uh, and reinsurance companies, insurance and reinsurance brokers, bank assurance operators, IIK executive council members and uh, the secretariat team. Receive my greetings even as I wish each of you a happier new 2021. I take this opportunity to thank you all, our delegates for honoring our invite to attend today's forum. Today's forum is the third webinar that IIK has hosted this month. Last week, we had two webinars, one for the insurance HR professionals uh, and those people who deal with staff. It was about whether companies can record high performance during remote working hours. And indeed the answer was a big yes. We were also told that remote working is not a season, but it is here to stay delegates. The second webinar was a professional forum on Friday last week. And the topic was professionalism, the best tool for insurance professionals. It was delivered by a respected successful professional senior uh, League of Professional uh, uh, Senior uh, Legal uh, Professional Senior Counsel John Ohaga, who was awarded Best Lawyer Year 2020. I'm sure most of you know him. My take home from that forum was honesty and integrity is about you as a person. If we are not people of integrity, one day we will be found out. And if you are, but if your clients, but if we are and our clients believe in us. We, they will be ready to pay our costs. Today is an opportunity for our commissioner to talk to us, but I just want to make just three highlights. It is my humble request that um, I, I um, to our delegates today that you being the leaders of this insurance market to support the insurance professional bill, which is in parliament, and whose first reading was done last year. Our legal team is in the process of organizing stakeholders meetings and we'll count on you to support our bill. Number two is about the renewal of IIK membership, which is ongoing and we trust you will approve membership subscription payments for all your insurance professionals to ensure that they are in good standing right from the onset. I was sharing with one of the CEOs recently how insurance players used to pride in having the highest numbers of professionals. It is time for IIK to recognize such companies. The other one is about IIK is committed to listening to its members even more keenly in year 2021. And I'm happy that our deputy director has mentioned about that. And therefore we will appreciate much feedback from each of you delegates your feedback will enable IIK to deliver tailor-made programs that will enable insurance professionals in your organizations to respond to the dynamic insurance issues. Allow me to thank each of you delegates for supporting IIK in a difficult year 2020. We recorded the highest number of sponsors and we do not take that for granted. Asante sana. Delegates, I pray you will engage our guest speaker together with his able technical team on diverse matters that are of concern to you, just as our, the deputy director has said. Once again, thank you very much for honoring our invite delegates. Finally, delegates, allow me to do the most honorable job that I have today of inviting our guest speaker. Our chief, uh, our guest speaker today 
is uh, well known to all of us. He has worked with IIK and continues to encourage the umbrella professional body in an admirable way. He has never turned us back when we need him as, uh, in the Institute. And for that, I wish to thank him most sincerely. Join me now to invite our very own Commissioner and CEO, IRA, Mr. Godfrey Kiptum. If you can unmute and welcome him with your hands, please do that. And I'll, I'll do that on behalf of those people who will not be able to unmute and tell him, Karibu Sana, our Commissioner, the floor is yours. Asante. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Director for the Institute, uh, Deputy Director and uh, Professional uh, Insurers and the rest of the team that has joined you this morning. Good morning. Morning. Yes, I want to take this opportunity to most sincerely thank IIK for inviting me to this meeting to open the new year with share our thoughts and, and uh, plans for the year 2021, and also our, our projected support to the sector and the opportunities and challenges that we have faced and that we will continue to face as a sector. And of course, one of the things that I want to pick up from where the director stopped is the issue of professionalism in the sector. We all know that somewhere along the line, we fell short, I don't want to say fell short of the glory as it is in the Bible, but I just want to say that we, we fell short a little bit, but nonetheless, which is still possible for us to pick up, dust our clothes and continue in that professional line. And of course, you know what a professional means. Is someone who is competent, has the skill, and is expected to practice and be faithful to his trade. And you have seen what has happened in the other sectors. Of course, I know that we have had a slight drawback with the fact that we didn't have a bill that supports our activities. But of course, we have registered and uh, we, we have registered as a society and that registration gives us leeway to manage our members, to register our members, to discipline our members and to do anything that appertains to making sure that our members are, are conversant and they play within the rules and and uh, practice professionalism in the whole gamut of business of insurance. And I want to take this opportunity today to encourage members of IIK, those who are not yet members, affiliates, associates, to be true professionals. And to be true professionals in this sector, then you must do a number of things. And I will just focus on about three areas for the insurance sector that basically uh, members of this sector are supposed to, and one, is uh, an insurance contract begins by underwriting process where you take on a risk and that risk must be priced properly. That risk must be assessed. And once you assess that risk, determine that what the risks are, then you price it appropriately. Then of course you must be true to that pricing. You don't uh, cut corners or you don't give quotes. For example, if you are dealing with an insurance uh, matter, you don't give a uh, different quote to different brokers and uh, different persons or different agents because you are not being truthful. You are not keeping to the integrity codes. You are not being as diligent as is expected of you. So that is uh, the beginning. And of course, in the underwriting process, then you must also be true, show the exclusions, explain to your customers the exclusions that go with that policy and anything else that you think they need to know. Otherwise, you will realize that in the end of it, once a matter materializes and a claim is made, then you start now bringing in the issues of exclusions. What happens is that you lose the trust. And of course, how you, you very well know that that is one of the major problems we are dealing with in the sector is the issue of trust. And that trust comes when we come to claims. We lose it because the claim process is made so complicated by a myriad of things that possibly the, 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 the consumers didn't know at the beginning, which they need to know. And once they don't know, and you bring it up at the tail end, what happens is that they just say, ah, nilikuwa najua tu hawa watu nwa kudanganya. So where are we? 
we lose that face, we lose integrity, we lose the trust. But that is something that we want to encourage ourselves to be truthful from the very beginning, uh, explain, underwrite properly, process the claims as is required, and give the full disclosure. So if we can be able to do that, we will redeem ourselves and uh, be able to build on where we have reached. Then allow me also to touch on something else that the, uh, the director of the institute mentioned, and that is on the bill, the insurance, uh, not, not the insurance, the professional insurance professional bill that we hope will help promote professionalism in the sector, promote the management of insurance business. And we are, the authority is quite supportive and will be uh, participating in the stakeholder, will be explaining to parliament. And we want to bring all the, all the players in the sector to support the bill, support the bill, build on it, make any suggestions, amendments to, to that bill to make it acceptable to all of us and to serve the interests of this, uh, of the sector. And uh, with that, I think, uh, Madam Director, want to assure you of our support as IRA uh, in dealing with, uh, with that bill. And we have had a lot of inquiries from members of parliament and we've been giving them an explanation on what it is, what it is meant to do and how it will be of assistance even to the regulation and supervision of insurance business in this country. Because then we will have people who uh, profess uh, insurance or the other related, uh, related professionals that come into play in the insurance sector that includes actuaries, accountants, and everybody else who must then play by, by the rules. <clears throat> and just to update you that in the year 2020, Despite the many problems that uh, the country faced, the global pandemic and all, all that, us in the sector, we were able to, 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 to make some strides. And you will remember that in that period, uh, we gazetted uh, a number of rules and regulations, majorly on micro insurance that we think will support the development of the insurance sector in getting, in getting to serve the underserved the people who are not rich and the people who have uh, low incomes. These regulations were published in, uh, in 2020 and we expect uh, that in this coming year, we will be licensing micro insurance players, persons who will basically deal with, uh, <clears throat> who will deal with low income persons and extend the reach of insurance. And that's an opportunity for, for players in the sector to, to, to play in that role, to explain uh, those products. And we expect that uh, these simple products will be attractive to many people. So we encourage you to explain to your clients and I'm sure that <clears throat> this will be coming on board very soon. And uh, of course, the micro insurance products also provide for simple operating requirements to, 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 to both uh, the companies and to the persons who are buying those products. That's also provided for quick claim payment turnaround times that we want to encourage and uh, build on. It is also quite simplified and the, even the distribution of these products is, will be quite simple and will be easy for persons to understand. And especially noting that group of low income persons who don't understand the complicated, uh, jam, the complicated jargon that we at times use. So these products are simple, they are affordable, and has minimal exclusions. And we expect that this will, will encourage a uh, better reach for, 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 our, for the insurance uh, sector. In that also, we had also regulations on uh, bank assurance that is meant to govern the operations of bank assurance. You all know that the bank assurance have been operating uh, basically like an agent, but the kind of business that they control is huge. The reach is huge. And of course, the environments that they operate does not at, uh, many a times give them room to give their clients uh, opportunity to select where they want to be. You know that in the past, they have been uh, driven towards some end, but which I'm happy to note that in the, in the coming year, this is not going to happen. And there will be, the, the, the rules have been passed and there will be hefty punishment for those people who don't give their clients a choice as is required of the law. So these regulations are meant to promote that. They are meant to promote choice. They are meant to govern the operations of bank insurance. And they are also recategorize them away from being uh, insurance agents 
into being uh, more serious players in between broking and uh, agents. So they are an in-between group. And of course, in the last, in the recent past, we have seen, we have witnessed that they have written a lot of business and they have a lot of captive business that, and they require to be, to be managed in a, in a, in a given manner. Uh, <clears throat> I also want to now focus on the things that uh, IRA will be, is dealing with apart from those issues of the law. And in the coming year, of course, we have witnessed the effects of the pandemic on the sector. And we know that it has reduced some portfolios, but we have also witnessed some growth, uh, albeit possibly because of uh, the reporting systems. And we have seen uh, we have seen a rise in life premiums. Uh, the premiums for the general business has been uh, neutral. There's been no growth, and basically it is it is it stagnated uh, last year. We didn't witness any negative effects, but of course, we also noted that in the in the period last year, as, as reported, the issue of outstanding premiums came down from uh, 43 billion that was owed by sector generally, not any particular player, but uh, between the insurance companies and themselves, between brokers and insurance companies, between agents and insurance companies. Uh, we witnessed uh, uh, positive uh, effects we saw it come from 43 to that 7 billion, which I want to applaud members of the industry for supporting us to bring that number down. And we want to continue to work at it together with ourselves. Uh, we are in discussions with all the only players to see that this, these numbers are reduced to manageable levels. Of course, uh, level of credit in any business is not that bad, but it is credit that is, uh, that is honored and everybody uh, makes their contribution. We have also, of course, uh, uh, 2021, this is the year that the risk-based supervision has come into full force and the authority will uh, be implementing the provisions of the law in this coming year. But I want to assure you then that uh, companies will be required to have CAR of 100%. However, we will work together with yourselves to see that this is achieved uh, in, the, in the coming period so that we can, we can, as an industry, move together. We are also seeing a number of people moving and merging, and we have discussions with quite a number of people now to, to, to meet their capital requirements. Some of them will include mergers, some of them will include uh, complete sellout, some of them will include some takeoffers. So these are things that we are currently discussing, and we hope that we shall be able to conclude some of them in the, in the coming days. Uh, the authority also maybe, as you may be aware, issued anti-money laundering guidelines that require to be, to be, to be followed uh, as one of the things. Then on the challenges that I had earlier alluded to, we of course know that uh, the capacity in the sector has been low, leading to us exporting a lot of business uh, due to possibly undercapitalization or possibly parent companies calling for business from their local subsidiaries. And we have also lacked professionals in some of the areas that has led to inability to write some of the classes of business. And due to also some low capitalization for some classes, we are not able to write all the business that, are, that arises from there. We have also witnessed the slowdown that has arisen because of the global pandemic and the tough times generally that business has, uh, has, has faced. And we also expect that the, the impact of the pandemic will continue for the next year or so as we await for the vaccine to be provided and made available to, to all sectors of the, of the population. And uh, finally, I want to say, you, you also remember that last year we had a big discussion on the issue of pandemics and how they are underwritten and how they are, they are managed. And of course, unfortunately then in that period we had a gap because we saw that insurance players excluded, some of them excluded pandemics, but the direct writers, the underwriters did not exclude in their, in their policies, which was a big gap in terms of uh, protection for yourselves and protection generally for, for your policy holders who then were exposed to a lot of risks because then you are not uh, providing a proper cover for, the, for them. And I want to, to say that I'm happy that eventually those things have been dealt with. And in this uh, period, 
there has been uh, alignment between the policies that uh, underwriters provide, that insurance provide, and the, the, the transfer of risks between the two players that then give support to the, to the sector generally. And we are happy that this has been done uh, correctly and properly in this uh, in the in the year 2021 and that is where we want to to move together as professionals that we do things in the right manner in the manner that is expected of us with integrity with trust and with a lot of professionalism that we exhibit so finally chair i want to once again thank you and i want to uh, wish a happy year to our delegates and also wish them uh, uh, I hear that they will want to be proud of themselves as professionals in this insurance sector or whatever for professional that uh, you are. Uh, because I know in this meeting we have many people who, who are members of uh, various professional societies and I want to thank them and wish them the very best and I want to urge them to continue to practice their professionalism in all that they do so that this country will be will be proud. So I want to assure you, uh, Chair, that we'll continue to work together, continue to work together with members of the industry so that we can together build our country and build our nation. So with those few remarks, thank you very much. My colleagues will be available to answer questions when I will not be available because I have two other engagements that are currently running at the National Treasury and other places. So I will be with you for a few more minutes that finally when I leave, I will leave uh, some technical officers from the institution and our company secretary to be with you until the end of the meeting. So thank you, director, and thank you, delegates, and I wish you the very best and a good day. Thank you very much. Uh, we really appreciate even uh, trying to, to, you know, to be able to be with us and also to have the other meetings. It's a great honor for us. And uh, even as uh, we continue, I really want on behalf of uh, the Insurance Institute of Kenya and all the leaders to thank you very, very much for your time, Asante. Back to the MC. MC, you need to unmute. We cannot hear you, MC. Mr. MC, we can only see your smile. We can't hear you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, let me confirm uh, that you can now hear me. Yes, we can. We can hear you. Thank you so much. Those who are the challenges of technology, but I believe we all understand. Now, uh, as I was saying before, I want to appreciate our our guest, that is uh, Wana Commissioner. Thank you so much for being with us and for that elaborate presentation. I can assure you with that level of English, then I am sure the bill will pass to the best interest of the stakeholders. So uh, thank you once again for the wonderful presentation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I believe uh, as our, our commissioner is still around with us, I will uh, quickly dive into a few questions that have been asked on the Q&A section. Um, 
I, I want to get to the questions that have been asked. I saw one question on the on the reinsurance uh, the reinsurance question, and then somebody else followed up on the reinsurance question. I don't know whether from your side you are able to access that question, uh, so that we are able to get it answered uh, easily and uh, nicely. I, I I'm just confirming with the office of the commissioner, and probably the team if we, you can access the questions that have been asked on the Q and A section. Well, uh, it appears I'm not getting a response from that end, uh, but uh, of course we will be able to welcome your questions on the Q&A section. Uh, present your question that you would want to be answered as we continue with our session. As I reminded you before, we have a link for the feedback form. Uh, kindly get to the link, uh, look at those questions. You will be able to answer them nicely as we progress. So I don't know whether there's any question with regards to the presentation by our our commissioner. I don't know whether there's any question with regards to that presentation. If there's any, kindly present it on the Q&A section. As I said, the feedback form has been given on the chat section for you to be able to do the questions on feedback. But if there's any question relating to the presentation by the commissioner, we welcome it, we welcome it now on the Q&A section. Kindly, if you can type it, we'll be able to look at it. Uh, well, as we think of those questions, I will quickly dive into the Q and A, the, the, the feedback form that had been given. And I would wish to request that we answer some of these questions live as I ask them. So I will be asking a question, then you just quickly get to the chat section and give us your answer. I will be sampling a few as we continue. Uh, uh, before I get there, I have seen uh, uh, Hezron Wambogo, my MD. Thanks, Mr. Commissioner, for a very good presentation. Uh, I would have put it in the intonation of Hezron and how he speaks, but that will be for another day. I want to ensure that I can still get more functions <laughs> on a lighter note, though. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining. I still am um, getting to the questions. Uh, I will take you quickly to the feedback link uh, as we await more questions on the Q&A section. Uh, one, one question number one on that feedback form is which sector do you work in? You can quickly get to the chat and include the sector that you work in. The first given there is insurance body affiliated to IIK. We have insurance company, we have reinsurance company, we have insurance brokerage, reinsurance brokerage, and bank assurance. So which sector do you uh, which sector do you work in? You can get to the chat section and quickly give us a response on the same. I'll be sampling as we continue. I am looking forward to see the first response. Which sector do you work in? For the panelists who are attending and all the members who are attending the webinar. Which sector do you work in? For a minute, I'll be looking forward to see responses from your end. Meanwhile, at the Q&A section, I can see someone asking, uh, maybe the commissioner can expound on how brokers will compete, especially on giving standard quotes, especially on issues to do with tenders. Uh, commissioner can expound on how brokers will compete, especially on giving standard quotes on issues to do with tenders. Um, I, I believe uh, the commissioner will be part of here, uh, how brokers will compete, uh, how brokers... <laughs> Uh, will compete especially on giving standard quotes on issues with to do with tenders. Uh, we will welcome your response, Bona Commissioner. I have seen uh, uh, the chat section. We can see Lynette indicating that she's in bank assurance. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm still looking forward to more responses. Which sector do you work in? The, the insurance body affiliated to IIK. We have insurance company, reinsurance company, insurance brokerage, reinsurance brokerage, and bank assurance. But of course, if you are on another day, you can also welcome it so that we are able to accommodate them all uh, at the same time. So uh, uh, maybe to the commissioner, uh, this question that has been asked, kindly expound on how brokers will compete, especially on giving standard quotes on issues to do with the tenders. I've seen Cunningham responding on the Q&A section, loss adjusting, that is well noted. So, uh, Buona Commissioner, if you can give us your response. 
on how, bro how brokers will compete on giving standard quotes on issues to do with tenders. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Mr. MC. What I was uh, in my comments, I said that an insurance company will have uh, 10 brokers coming to it. They are bidding for business at one of the public institutions. Then the insurance company decides to give each broker a different quote. What, what, what does it reflect of you as a company? Are you, is that fair play? Is it, is it fair for you to give 10 brokers different quotations for the same business, for the same risk, for the same, whatever it is? Is it, is it fair? That was the question I was asking uh, uh, professionals and practitioners in the insurance sector. And my opinion is that you should be able to give uh, the brokers a quote that is the same, or unless you know that they don't remit their premiums, then you can, uh, you can then uh, quantify that risk and penalize a particular broker. But in all essence and in all fairness, the quote should be the same. Then the brokers will compete on service because in, basically they represent the clients. So the client knows what kind of service he will get from broker A and broker B, and they can compete on that basis, but not on the issue of price that has been given by an insurance company. And you give 10 different quotes to 10 different brokers and uh, well, that is not fair in our, in my opinion, and uh, for members of the public that you give different quotes, unless of course you want to support a particular broker because of other business, uh, other reasons, but giving them a different quote for for the same business, the same risk, is not is not right. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Bona Commissioner, for that response. Someone else on the chat section has indicated, thank you, Mr. Commissioner, for laying out the operating framework for this year. Could you please give an indication on how the marine cargo insurance is progressing in reference to ICMS platform? Uh, thank you, Bona MC. I will just be brief on that. We currently have discussions going on between KRA, Aki, Kentred on uh, operation of that system. And we expect that in the, in the first quarter of this year, it will be sorted out. And then uh, players can be able to, to, to participate in the manner that will be agreed. And once we agree, we will issue advice to, to the insurance sector uh, on how they can be able to participate on that, on the, whatever platform will have been agreed. But uh, as the discussions are progressing, it is most likely to be on the Kentred platform. But let me not say, uh, give a conclusive answer now because it is something that is subject to discussion. So once we have agreed, then we will give you advice. Thank you. That is wonderful. I have seen another one on the chat section. You know, uh, when, a, when a commissioner, this is the first time somebody is getting a response probably live one-on-one. -on -one, so it should be a privilege to this. There is Stella Njugi who is asking, good morning, what is IRA's view on the reinsurance move to set minimum premium, minimum rates for property in 2020? What does this mean? I repeat the question, what is IRA's view on the reinsurance move to set minimum rates for property in 2020? What does this mean? Uh, thank you, Bwana MC. I, do, I don't want to say because I have not cited that uh, minimum rate for property, but if the insurance, if the reinsurance company set rates, I, do, I, I, would, I don't know whether they are minimum or whatever it is that they are setting, but when they set rates for their business, because I believe every reinsurance company will set the rates that is based on the, on the projected risk from, from that sector. And of course, you know, the insurance are also trying to protect themselves. They are also protecting the sector and uh, bringing in stability by putting in uh, measures that will uh, reduce or check the risks. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to say anything on the minimum rates, but their rates would be based on the kind of business that they are taking from you and their projection of the risk that is associated with that. But in any case, uh, I've seen also somebody else who has asked about the the minimum rates they are filed, they should use the minimum rates they are filed. And if they are in, in not in consonance with the reinsurance rates, then they should be able to discuss with their insurance. And I'm sure they will they will have an agreement and a way forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that, uh, uh, Commissioner. We have another one here. I believe this is more of a recommendation 
what is the difference between FCII and ECOP graduates in terms of responsibilities? We need a structured professional qualification on what one can do and what he cannot do to grow professionalism. Why are our universities not training insurance as a course? Maybe our industry needs to look into this. Risks are, risks are evolving and we need brains to decode them. I believe that is more of a feedback and a statement to look into. I also note that there is a, on the Q&A section, we have Hezron's indication here saying we are in the digital transformation era and we need to serve the needs of millennials, stroke the youth. Uh, I believe he's talking about me and so, so many young of us, including William Bruto and uh, of course the president, he said he's a youth. My proposal is, apart from supporting initiatives from individual companies, IRA with consultation with AIBK and Aki should work on joint venture to digitize insurance services, just like what the government is doing, e.g. what we did with the digital motor certificates. That's also his indication. Maybe you can give a quick response or indication of uh, the same to the two that have indicated to us. Uh, thank you very much. I think uh, there's nobody who is stopping provision of services on the digital platform. And if you if you look at uh, the amendments we did to the law last year, we allowed people to be served uh, with their policy documents digitally. We allowed digital signatures, and we we are being generally flexible on distributing uh, insurance and others on the digital platform. And we can have a discussion with anyone on whoever has uh, ways of of providing or providing solutions that will be easy for everyone to to, to participate in. And if you remember last year, we ran a, a, a competition on people to join the sand, sandbox that will be based on the techn technological platform. We also have a current initiative that is on, uh, on, uh, on going on now, where people will be part competing to, to on innovation in the insurance uh, sector. So you are welcome to participate in those initiatives. And the authority is quite flexible and will be listening to all the players and whatever suggestions that you have that will make service provision to Kenyans much more uh, easier. Then on uh, FCII and ECOP or whatever it is that you want to mention, there is no comparison between FCII and ECOP. You can't mention the two of them in the same sentence because it is not comparable. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Bona Commissioner. I have seen someone saying uh, thank you on the Q&A section. Uh, that is Sarah Warutere saying thank you, Commissioner, for the presentation. And you can acknowledge Sarah by actually mentioning and saying thank you for the feedback. Thank you, Sarah <laughs> and Esron. Then Madam Director is asking this one. You did mention, Mr. Bona Commissioner, that capacity of insurance has been low, prompting us to export business and also the fact that we lack some professionals to write some businesses. Which specific insurance areas are affected and what do you think we can do to bridge this gap? Uh, let me just mention uh, aviation. How many of you write that, those covers? How many of you uh, cover risks for banks? How many of you do energy and oil cover risks? and ask yourself why you are not able to do it. Those are my questions that uh, members of IIK need to answer and members of the industry and uh, possibly come back to us with suggestions on how to be, how to deal with it. Thank you, Banaukari. Are you still there? Here. Yeah. Uh... You, you've asked very concrete questions. I believe the silence means we are still absorbing the questions as we get to see and take up the challenge. Uh, I, I am still yet to see any other question on this end. And uh, because I am sure that you're going to leave us with a team that is still uh, going to speak to us and answer these questions, um, maybe before you are able to leave us, uh, maybe before you are, you are about to leave us, I wish to welcome Madam Director to at least appreciate you with her word on behalf of the Institute. Alafu from there, we will still continue with the Q&A so that in case it comes to a time that you leave us, at least we'll have appreciated and say thank you for being on board with us. Madam thank Director. You. Thank you, MC. Okay, thank you very much, um, 
our commissioner, we have really had a very good session and it is a very good update for us at the beginning of the year. And I have heard the challenges that you have brought back to us about aviation, about bank, about oil and gas. And I believe this is also an opportunity for IIK then to also have a forum where we can, uh, uh, these things can be discussed further so that uh, we see what it is that the industry can come. And I am happy that uh, you have drawn that challenge back to us. I just want to thank you for your time and thank you for making sure that um, you always come when we call you. We sincerely appreciate you and we have really, really uh, been lucky to, to have you today at the beginning of the year so that uh, we are able to move on. Asante sana. Thank, Thank you. you very much and have a good afternoon. A uh, good day, sorry. I'm still around for a few more minutes, then I will leave. Thank you very much. That is wonderful. Thank you for assuring us that you're still around with us. And uh, we wish to appreciate you for also being with us and uh, also answering some of the questions. Uh, now that I cannot see any other question coming in uh, on this end, uh, I wish to welcome and also recognize the presence of uh, Bwana Etemesi. I saw him log in. I don't know whether he's still with us. Uh, we acknowledge your presence and uh, we say thank you for also joining us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we can still continue interacting on the Q&A section. Uh, the Q&A section is open for us to give questions to our commissioner and to, the, to his team because he has an elaborate and vibrant team to answer your questions. And as we do so, we welcome you on the feedback form where we were answering the questions. I remember I asked the first one, which sector do you work in? And I saw responses coming in. Lynette had indicated bank assurance. Elizabeth said insurance company. Um, I didn't see any other response on the same. I don't know whether we still have it with us. Um, I wish to confirm whether we have the same questions from your end uh, before we are able to move to the next question. Uh, before we are able to move to the next question, kindly confirm if you've been able to get that question on your end. Uh, we still welcome uh, questions on the Q&A section and the feedback that you're giving us. We say thank you for also sharing your feedback with us. Uh, the link has been posted on the chat section. That is to give us the feedback that uh, we are looking for as we continue with our session. Now, uh, now that I'm not seeing the questions coming on, I can still take us to the next question on our feedback form. Uh, then what skill sets and expertise would you look for when engaging a new person to head the insurance technical department in your company? What skill sets and expertise would you look for when engaging a new person to head insurance technical department in your company or institution? What skill sets and expertise will you look for when engaging a new person to head insurance technical department in your company? Um, what skill sets and expertise would you look for when engaging a new person to head insurance technical department in your company or institution? Uh, let's see your answers on the chat section. Uh, the skill sets you will be looking for when engaging a new person to head the insurance technical department in your company or institution. Meanwhile, I note Paul. Paul has indicated is uh, on the chat section, commissioner that read great. Thank you, Paul, for that feedback to the commissioner. Um, I'm still looking out for answers. What skill set and expertise would you look for when engaging a new person to head insurance technical department in your company? Uh, the skill sets that you will be looking for. Uh, I'm looking out for answers. I'm yet to see any coming. Uh, even as you think so, also think on what skill sets and expertise you will look for when engaging a new person to head the business development team in your company. The skill set and expertise you will look for when engaging a new person to head the business development team in your company. So we are looking first the skill sets for a person to head Tech insurance technical department, then we look for the head of business development team, the skills and expertise that you will be looking at. Uh, I'm still looking out for any questions coming along, but I can't see any so far. So we still acknowledge you for that uh, 
Then we have what key lessons learned in 2020 due to COVID-19 can be used as stepping stones to propel growth in insurance. Then there's a question on what programs and topics of discussion you would wish to see IAK implementing going forward. And finally, your feedback, uh, whether positive or negative, but it's still feedback uh, about IAK. So um, we will quickly delve into those questions as they come in. Uh, of course, I know you've been able to log in to your, to your feedback form. I've seen some people indicating that they are responding straight on the feedback form, but also I would request that you indicate it on the chat section so that we are able to easily read it out for you. The skill sets and expertise you would look for when engaging a new person to head insurance technical department in your company. And then we will look again on uh, that as we continue. So skill sets and expertise you will look for when engaging a new person to head technical uh, insurance technical department in your company. Um, this is a question to all stakeholders uh, and all CEOs logged in as you continue with this session. As you also ponder on those questions, I want to acknowledge uh, all of you who have been able to join in. I can see uh, Diana, Diana, thank you for joining, Chelagat, Koimu, uh, that those are the pa panelists in. Then there's the attendees list, of course, I'm acknowledging Anthony Ogutu, Ben, Kidinji, Beth, Nyaga, Caroline Munene, Cunningham, Daniel Kathitu, uh, David Mitoko, David Nzioka, Dennis Odongo, G.K. Rono, uh, Doris Kinoti, Eliud Adiedo, Elizabeth, uh, the one uh, Galaxy Tab, that is the name given. I am also seeing uh, Gidua Ngaroya, thank you for joining. Hezron Mbogo, thank you. Ivy Mwendwa, Jack Kionga, James Masharia, Jen Odipo, Jen Onimbo, John Wainaina, Jocelyn Urandu, Tashif Shadri, uh, Kimani Muthondu, Lynette Mirehane, Lydia Murerwa, Muchemi Ndongo, Paul Cheboy, Rose Wanda, Sarah Warutere, Stella Njungi, and Tom Gishohe. Uh, for all those attendees, I've been able to mention you on board, Santeni Sana. And basically, the purpose of me mentioning you is to see whether we can still get a response from you uh, <laughs> as we can. Thank you, and Kari. Uh, CEOs in the CEOs industry, in industry. Uh, please, we did request that uh, this is the coffee house. When we are taking ourselves back to the 1686, the railroads of Randon, uh, where the broking house started. And our aim as uh, IIK today was for you to speak to your commissioner, was for you to ask all those questions that have been nagging. Let's deliberate. Let's open up so that we don't ask the questions after this. You can see Aki is represented from the top office. Uh, we have the broking houses represented. We have bank assurance represented. We have insurance companies represented. Please let's ask all those questions. Uh, you know, Ancheragat handles your consumer education department and she's represented and ready to answer any questions that you have on technical issues. We have Mary Nikoimu, who is heading our technical team in IRA. Any technical issues, you please ask because she's on board. The commissioner, the very top office is there. So please let us chat now or for never let us hold our horses because if we don't speak to the commissioner when he has agreed to remove the heart of the commissioner so that he can answer all your questions through the professional body, we may not have another opportunity like this one. So please ask all those questions in the event that you have any legal issues that are, is affecting the industry. Dan Nasawe, the company secretary is also present. And we have about 10 or 15 minutes before we end our session and we are waiting for you professionals. We are waiting for you CEOs to engage uh, the most, the high body, the regulatory body. You will not have such an opportunity again. So please, I am still begging you, please, put your questions on the chat and let the commissioner address you because he's ready to address you directly. Thank you. And Cheragat, maybe I would start with you. Let me invite you so that you handle the issue of ECOP so that you 
let everybody get satisfied. What is the role ECOP is playing in this industry as far as professionalism is concerned? Of course, the commissioner said there is no comparison between the two, but maybe you have something else to add. And over to you. And Cheragat, I hope you can hear me. MC, we cannot hear you. Kindly confirm that you can hear me now, please. Yes, now we can hear you. Uh, kindly confirm that you can hear me. We can yes, hear we you can. now. Thank you, we can hear you now. We have lost you again, MC. MC, we lost you again. Sorry, sorry, it seems like I'd lost my network. I hope we can still get to connect again. Confirm that you can hear me now. We can hear yes. you now. Thank you, thank you so much. So uh, as we were receiving the feedback, I had noted some of the feedback that had come in on our chat section, and I was still encouraging us to give more feedback on the same. Uh, 
we had asked about the skill sets that we, and expertise that one would look at when engaging a person on the head of insurance technical department. There was also a question on engaging a head of business development. So uh, there were those two questions that we were looking at. And uh, even as we were also receiving questions that were directed to the commission and his team, um, so far I've not seen a response coming along on that end, meaning people got to understand fully whatever was being projected and people are up to date with these matters and people are able to actually share even on the feedback uh, forms that have been issued. So uh, the stakeholders and CEOs, we still welcome you to give us your feedback on these areas that have been inquired upon. Remember, uh, as it has been given, like it is a coffee house meeting whereby you're going to speak freely and give your feedback in response to the same. We want to also look at the key lessons. Uh, I saw some question on key lessons learned in 2020 due to COVID-19 that can be used as stepping stones. I know that's an easy one, some of the key lessons that you learned as, your, as a CEO or as a stakeholder in your company that you learned due to COVID-19 and can be used as stepping stones to propel growth in the insurance industry. I look forward to see some of your responses on that. The key lessons that you learned due to COVID-19 that can be used as stepping stones to the growth of the insurance industry. Uh, from whether we have any response, uh, someone, Lynette, has written, skills, analytical, analytics, communication, and attention to detail. I believe those were skills on head of business or the head of technical, uh, insurance technical section. Which one were you referring to? But uh, I can see Lynette, and we appreciate your feedback on the same. Um, I'm not sure whether there's another response that has come along on that matter. But we still are asking about the key lessons that you learned in 2020. Uh, due to COVID-19 that can be used as stepping stones to the growth of uh, insurance industry. So some of these key lessons that you learned, we welcome to hear them from you, the lessons that you learned due to COVID-19 in 2020, that you can use as stepping stones to propel growth in the insurance industry going forward. Um, I'm still checking on the chat section to see whether there are some of these lessons that you learned, uh, but uh, I, I'm, I'm sure you're still typing your responses on the same. Then we have uh, programs and topics of discussion that you would wish to see IIK implement. So maybe if you did not have a response on uh, the previous questions or the key lessons, you can also give us the programs that you wish to see IIK implementing going forward, of course, to the betterment of the industry. Uh, that was the fourth question, I believe. Uh, the programs and topics of discussion that you wish to see IIK implementing going forward, considering it's January, they will be considered in the course of the year as uh, they roll out the IIK program. So uh, that is also welcome uh, so that you are able to get feedback on the same. So uh, the chat section is still open. I, I can see the expertise that you're looking for is any degree, add to short courses and continuous professional education. Thank you so much, Lynette, for that and for being an active participant in this. Uh, if I had the MC's award, I would have given it to you also for that participation. Thank you so much for that. Um, uh, that is Lynette who has given us feedback. I am. I can see Gidua questions to IRA. The 2020 quarterly IRA reports were released later than normal. What would we expect in 2021? I believe uh, if, if our commissioner is still on board with us, he can answer that. But if not, one, one person from his team can answer Gidua's question. That is a uh, question to IRA. The 2020 quarterly IRA reports were released later than normal. What should we expect in 2021? Looking forward to a response from any of the team from uh, the commissioner's office. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Yeah, this is Mary Ayare. Uh, 
and uh, thanks for hosting us. I would like to respond to some of the queries. And in particular, I don't know if I'm still audible. It's like I'm lost. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you, Mary. Okay, thank you, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, there, were, there were some challenges. We had some challenges with our system where we normally get the returns from the industry. And that's why the returns were, the reports were released a bit, a bit late, but the authority is currently upgrading the ERS system, which uh, we use for receiving returns from the industry. And then we now analyze the returns and generate a report which we release to the industry. Once the upgrade is done, we can assure the industry that uh, we are going to release our reports earlier than before. But we had that challenge of the, where we were now trying to upgrade our system. That's why we released the 2020 quarterly returns a bit late. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that response. Uh, it's appreciate. I believe Gedoa has received his answer well and uh, satisfactorily. Of course, uh, we welcome you still to be able to give feedback or questions. I also note when I had a message, Charles, had uh, logged in as Lydia. Lydia, that is the PA, I believe. When I had a message from Waikari, we say thank you so much for joining and being on board. Asante sana, when I had a message for joining us. So um, we still welcome your feedback on the chat section. Kindly uh, feel free to share your feedback because we are about to end this program now. And uh, if the uh, from my end, I'm not seeing any questions on the Q and A section, and I can also not see questions from uh, the chat section so far. But of course, we welcome you to the feedback form. Kindly get to click in, kindly get to log in, and uh, we will be able to get your questions answered and your feedback received appropriately. Um, MC, I, yes, MC. This is Mary again. There is a Mary. question on the chat about uh, dealing with the uh, intermediaries who are not licensed under the act. Correct. The law is very clear that underwriters are not to deal with any intermediaries who are not registered in the act. And so we noted that as an authority, some underwriters have been placing their insurance business with brokers whom we've not registered. So that's why we did a circular and ask uh, our, the underwriters to ensure that they deal with only licensed intermediaries. And if they continue dealing with the unlicensed intermediaries, then the commissioner is going to enforce a provision in the law. There's, there is a category of brokers, insurance brokers, who are given an approval to have um, to establish a liaison office in Kenya. So for those ones, they are not in that category which are classified as unregistered under the Insurance Act. So we encourage the underwriters to ensure that they only deal with brokers or intermediaries who are registered under the Insurance Act. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mary, for your response. And we sincerely appreciate your ability to be able to look at these matters nicely. Uh, at this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I still remind you one more time, uh, the section on feedback. It's very important and crucial to the running out of the programs. And having seen that there's no other question coming along, at uh, this time I wish to welcome uh, Madam Christine Ronga. You can lead us uh, in the winding up of the program and probably the last prayer as we close the program. Christine karibu -san. Uh, thank you so much, uh, MC Okari. Thank you for taking us through from the beginning to the end very well. Uh, once again, uh, uh, morning, uh, all professionals in the industry. My name is Christine Ronga, uh, ACII. I am the Horn Secretary of the Institute, uh, your institute. And so I'm so glad that you made time for us and uh, for this forum so that we can deliberate on issues that concern us. So uh, let's not be too quiet when we have these forums because they are created for purposes of uh, 
uh, putting our minds together so that we can sort out uh, our issues and move this industry to the next level. And we can only do it jointly because uh, if you run alone and uh, the rest are not professional, then we still remain um, uh, in, the, in the customer's mind. Um, the same wrong things uh, will still remain. This, the, uh, the wrong perception still uh, remains. So let's do this together. Um, I want to thank uh, all insurers, uh, all CEOs from the insurance industry, uh, reinsurance, uh, from uh, brokerage, uh, from uh, both uh, insurance and reinsurance brokerage, and to thank all the bank assurers for giving us uh, some time this morning so that we can put our heads together. Uh, God really, I'm asking that God uh, bless you all uh, for putting this time aside. Uh, I know it is very valuable time that you'd have done something else. Again, I want to thank the commissioner and all the IRA team for giving us some time also this morning. Asante Sana. Uh, the director uh, of the Insurance Institute of Kenya. Asante for leading us this uh, far. Uh, thank you so much for all that you do for the, uh, for the Institute. Thank you, Deputy Director also. Uh, your efforts are recognized. I want to thank all Executive Council members. Um, indeed, all the CEOs, the executives, the stakeholders, everyone who has attended this uh, forum, Asante Nisana. Uh, it would not have been uh, a successful forum without your input. And I still urge you, uh, you may not have answered all the questions. However, we have posted the survey. Kindly take time to give feedback because we want to make sure that we get it right in 2021, moving forward as an institute, as a professional institute, so that we tailor make um, solutions for you, as opposed to just um, bringing things, churning out uh, programs that don't make much sense. Like we are saying, we've moved, uh, 2020 taught us quite a bit of a lesson, and uh, now we are wiser, and we would want to move together to the next level. Thank you so much. So we, we await your feedback even after this forum. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Almighty God, thank you for the time you've given us this morning. All the planning that went into it would still have uh, caused a fail if you had not crowned this forum with success. We pray for every company uh, represented here. We pray for wisdom upon every CEO, every executive who is in this forum, asking that you lead us in the right direction, in the direction that will move this institute, Lord, to the next level so that we churn out products and services that serve our customers and serve them right and not in a ways that they have perceived us in the past, as trying to, um, to be, being dishonest to them. We pray that Jehovah God, even as the day progresses, that you'll walk with us and guide us. We pray for our families and we pray for all that uh, concerns us. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so Amen. much, Delegate. Amen. Thank you very much. Over to you, MCO. I'm seeing that the MC is muted, so uh, perhaps I will just uh, <laughs> uh, wish everybody a good thank day you, and thank you so much. Thank you to Christine and thank you everybody for coming.